Virat, uh, you spoken about intent on the eve of the match, but did it somewhere look like you were the only one who had intent? Because some of the dismissals today were like uh, tough cricket, like you had so much time in your hand poking at the ball outside the off stump and then a run out. Do you mean, are these things that are going to be taken into account when you sit down to talk ahead of the third test? For sure. Look, we've, we've not uh, come here to play the way we did, you know, at, at different uh, times in both test matches. And that's something that we need to definitely speak about. Um, we need to be um, hard on ourselves. We need to ask ourselves if we are giving 120% for the team every time that we, you know, bowl a ball or play a ball or field a ball. Um, that is something, as I said, individuals need to reflect on themselves. But as a team, we're definitely going to lay out uh, these things in the open and uh, you know ask the guys to be honest about what they were feeling at particular stages in the game. Uh, unless you speak about it, you lay out in front of everyone. There's very less chances of improving it. Um, so yeah, as I said, these things, uh, you know, the, the the mistakes that that we've made, uh, which have been really, I would say, uh, you know, not putting attention to detail um, at important stages of the game uh, is something that we need to definitely take into account and sit down and discuss as a team. Yeah, really. uh, Captain, uh, about 10 years ago, the selectors took a chance on you, though there were players with better records in domestic cricket. One of the reasons given was that they felt you were an individual, they could build a team around. Uh, some batsmen in this team have not performed outside Asia. Is there a temptation to sit down with somebody like the A-team coach and look at options outside this group? Look, we will <coughs> have, have to sit down and discuss those things. You know, it's, it's, Look, it doesn't feel nice that you come out and you know you feel good as a team and then you're not able to execute what you want to. Um, it it um, almost has to be a madness to be able to win uh, you know, away from home. And you have to live that every minute, every day of being on tour. So, um, as I said, it's a very individual thing, and um, but we need to discuss that as a team for sure. And uh, I can't speak on behalf of the selectors what they are thinking. Um, obviously, the selectors will come into uh, the conversation as well. You know, looking at uh, what we need to plan uh, for for future tours also because we have a lot of cricket away from home. This was not the only tour, so. Yeah, we'll have to identify all the areas that need improvement and, uh, you know, accordingly act on those. And obviously the selectors are, uh, selectors are going to be a big part of, of that conversation. Thank you. Uh, Vinod, uh, you are here for the first time with uh, quite a bit of the resources to compete in South Africa. Like, having like too many players for the same set, did it affect uh, when it comes to selecting the right level? Is that a Sorry, I didn't understand your question. I mean, if you came with the right resources here, yeah. Look, when something doesn't work, obviously it's going to be spoken against. So, you know, we're pretty used to that. We as a team don't uh, think of, you know, what the opinion going around is and I've clarified that before also. There are many people that are involved in making a uh, decision for the playing 11. A lot was spoken about Bhuvi as well but Shami performed in this game. So now no one's talking about that. So you know it's all about um, whoever goes out to the field and performs. Uh, we obviously look at the conditions that we're playing in and we decide as a management group and the captain myself sitting together that what is the best 11 we can take on the field and then we don't sit back and think oh we could have done that or we should have done that. You make one decision and you back it, you know, it's 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 always uh, that scenario. Um, Virat, uh, just an extension of that, I mean, um, for the last couple of years playing in subcontinent conditions, you, you've uh, got a formula that you know, to excel on pitches like these and pass bowlers from both teams have said that this is more like a subcontinent pitch. So, how much does this loss hurt that despite having that formula, you're not able to perhaps get the best 11 out there and, and you know, win this match? So, what's the best 11? Won that to win this match. Was it your best eleven? That's what. But if we had won this, was this was this the best eleven? Again, you haven't won this. It's a pitch that is a much more surprising. Look, I am saying that we don't decide eleven according to results. So my question was about the pitch. Like, so yeah, but you're saying you you are you're telling me you could have played the best eleven. So you tell me the best eleven will play that. I'm saying the loss obviously hurts, but you make one decision and you back it. You know, we we certainly don't sit here and say. Oh, if you fail in one game, you're you're not good enough to be at this level. Or once the team loses, didn't we lose in India? We had the best eleven there. So 
uh, whoever plays should be good enough to go out there and do the job for the team. And that's why we've got such a big squad because we believe in their abilities. And they are good enough to be at this level, but... A word on the partnerships in the Indian batting side, Virat, and perhaps the lack of it have contributed to this loss because we saw you at one end and you had the stand with Vijay in the first innings and then later on with Ashwin, but there weren't too many of them. So uh, just your thoughts on people batting together and how it perhaps affected the loss. Yeah, I would, I would point out the lack of it, uh, you know, I wouldn't point out the partnerships because partnerships of 60s and 70s are not good enough to win test matches. We've seen that in the past as well and uh, we've identified that and, you know, you need guys to uh, put their heads down when the partnership has gone to 60 and 70 and trying to try to make it into 100 or 150 uh, to give the team the best chance of, you know, winning a test match or being in a, in a solid position. Similarly, you know, when you're batting as well, you want to make big hundreds and not, you know, get out after hundreds so the team can benefit from that. So it's it's the same mindset that you take in, uh, into partnerships also. You know, when we did well in Australia, we got 450 uh, runs every first innings, but our partnerships were massive. So that is something that we haven't repeated here. And, uh, you know, as I said in presentation as well, South Africa did that better than us. They did not have many partnerships, but whatever they had, one big partnership was always there and that was the key to uh, them consolidating those uh, situations and they deserve to win the series. Well, in, in hindsight, would you perhaps have, have wanted to arrive in South Africa a bit earlier and give yourselves more time to prepare for what was obviously a big series? See, I, I, I don't believe in that. You know, we, we had a result in three days in Cape Town and um, we had no complaints. We really enjoyed the pitch that we played on because we had an equal chance of winning the game there. Um, we were not good enough to do that, that's a different thing. But it wasn't like, you know, we were set a total and the team had declared and we were outplayed. So, we had opportunities in both games. Um, that is probably the smallest positive that we can think of at this moment. But, look, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and, and you know, uh, try to comfort anyone. We need to be hard on ourselves if we need to do special things. and. Uh, we need to sit down and ask ourselves whether we are giving enough uh, every time that we go on the field and you know we, we, sh we should be um, reflecting on all our decision making and all the actions that we've uh, made in this game and the previous game and uh, act upon them. Last one, but some um, overseas career, so to speak, on the line when they go to the Wonders, because there's a lot of people who've got great records in India but not necessarily around the world. Look, everyone wants to perform everywhere. Um, I don't know whether, you know, uh, People think about those things too early or because when we came here last time we batted well. Um, this time around we haven't batted well as a unit. We bowled well. We didn't bowl as well last time but we bowled better this time. So, you know, what's annoying is that it hasn't come together at, at one time which obviously South Africa has done and that's how you win test matches. And um, that's the most, uh, you know, thing, the hurtful thing that, you know, both skills are not coming together at the right times. Um, including fielding as well and you know they are far superior in the field uh, than us and um, all three things have to come together well in tough situations for you to be able to win test matches and series which we have failed to do. Uh, uh, Virat, looking at the pitch here, they look turn twice and it was on the slow side. So, would you look back at this test as a great opportunity lost because we, the conditions here were similar to what we get at home and uh, we should have ideally beaten South Africa here in this well, we were um, quite disappoint disappointed in Cape Town also. We had an opportunity to win there also. Um, look, Test cricket, it doesn't matter where you're playing. Teams have beaten us at home also at times. And um, yeah, these conditions were something that we are used to playing at. Um, and, you know, we should have certainly done better than what we have. Um, but having said that, you know, um, it's about which team plays collectively better. And as I mentioned quite a few times already that South Africa collectively were a much better team than us, uh, regardless of the pitches we played on. They, um, their bowlers put uh, relentless pressure on us as, as a batting unit and their batsmen as well, after losing a few wickets, they would string in a partnership. So, they showed more character than us. Don't you feel uh, too much hinges on you in this lineup? Too much hinges on you in this lineup that's over dependent on you only in this lineup? No, I don't think so. There are 11 guys that go onto the field. You know, I try to do my best, so does everyone else. Uh, I certainly don't think like that and no one in the change room thinks like that. Sometimes, you know, sometimes uh, another batsman is, has played through the innings and then you feel like you're, you're, you've been too dependent on him. So, you know, anyone can have 
um, a, a day where they can bat through the innings, but that doesn't mean that you know they're they're dependent on that particular uh, player. So everyone has contributed for the for the team at different times. Um, you know, you can't win games of cricket because of one or two people. You know, everyone has done well in the past, and that's why we've done well. It just hasn't uh, been able to come together well here, as I said, and that's the reason why uh, we haven't been able to win these games. Finally, Brian, you're talking about it not coming together well. Maybe has that been because of the chopping and changing of the selection? I think in over 30 tests that you have been captain, you've changed your starting lineup in almost each and every test that you play. And I think you would know that to win test matches, you also need a little bit of consistency, or rather a lot of consistency. And you guys have been lacking that part, consistency. What would you put that down to? And how how would you basically say that you guys will continue changing your team and you will still expect different results? How many test matches have we won out of 30? How many have you changed your lineup? How many have we won? <laughs> How many have we won? How many have you changed your lineup? 21 wins. Yeah. Two losses. Yeah. How many draws? How many in India? It doesn't matter. Wherever we play, we try to do our best. Thank you, sir. I'm here to answer your questions, man, not to fight with you. Please answer them. Oh, there are my 90s, man. Some other क्या आप आपको लगता है कि ऐसा स्थिति भारतीय क्रिकेट में अभी है कि फिर सिर्फ विराट कोहली कठिन सिचुएशन में मैच जिताते और ये बहुत कठिन सिचुएशन आता है कोई Look, we have to believe that we are, you know, the best side. Because uh, even when we came here, if you don't have the belief that you can win the series here, there's no point coming here. You know, we've not come here to just to participate. And uh, answering your question, sir, how many times did South Africa come into the game in India? Coming close to winning games in India. But can you count? Features. But, you know, we are not complaining about Cape Town either. The game was finished in three days. One was a washout. So, look... We are not complaining about pitches, we are not complaining about conditions, we have come here to play. Um, as I said, we have had equal opportunities to win uh, in both the games and that's the positive we can take out of this but I'm not sitting here comforting my guys so I don't know what you're listening to but uh, I'm asking everyone to be hard on themselves. On themselves.